So let's go ahead and find a child's pose position in the back of the mat. So find the back, make your knees nice and wide. Big toes touching, tops of the feet on the floor, sitting your butt on your heels, and then walk your hands all the way out, forehead to the ground, and breathe. Good, child's pose is my favorite place to start because you can really analyze the body here. So as you sit here, you can move a little bit. You can maybe shift your hips from side to side. You can press one elbow into the ground and the other, really getting a good side stretch. You can reach your arms as far as you can, spread your fingers wide. And then just take a moment to really recognize how your ankles feel, how your knees feel, how your hips, your low back, your shoulders, your neck, just take a moment to breathe here and take note of all your joints because when we come back to this position, we want to see if we can feel a difference. Good. I want you to take three large inhales to allow your whole rib cage to expand as much as possible. And then take a huge exhale until your core contracts. Good, do that three times. Big, big inhale. Fill your lungs, let your rib cage expand. And then exhale until your core contracts. Good, one more. Beautiful. When you're ready, coming back into a normal breathing pattern, still in and out through the nose. We're gonna warm up our shoulders to start. So leave your forearms on the ground. We're gonna shift our weight onto our forearms. So we're coming into kind of a tabletop position, but keep your hips where they are. And then we're gonna flip our chest onto the ground as we flip our palms. So slowly roll forward, chest on the ground, core tight as you press the ground away, half push up, and then send it back into a child's pose. Good, we're gonna do that a couple more times. So shift forward onto the forearms, shift onto the palms, core tight, hug your elbows in, half push up. Yes, beautiful guys, good, keep going. Close your eyes, move on your own time. Inhale when you're going down, exhale when you're doing the push up. Move with your breath, keep going. Hugging your elbows as close to your core as possible, engaging your core as much as possible. Good, let's do two more. Just getting some blood pumping in the upper body. Good, last one. Next time you're back in the child's pose, go ahead and stay there just for a moment. Beautiful. So with snowboarding, some of the most common injuries are upper body. So we focus a lot on shoulder strength in class. When you're ready, go ahead, coming up into a tabletop position, hands right underneath your shoulders, bringing your knees right underneath your hips. We're gonna do a little bit of spinal work. So for those of you who are already in season, we are about a week in, um, your back is like, hello. So we're gonna work on some spinal movements here. So everyone knows cat-cow for the most part. Tuck your tailbone under first, then round your spine, then tuck your chin, exhale. And then stick your butt out first, Sink between your shoulder blades, press the ground away, look forward, inhale. Exhale, hips, spine, chin. Good, inhale, hips, spine, chin. And again, just close your eyes. Move on your own time and with your own breath. 
So however slow or fast you breathe is however slow or fast you move. Good, and really press into these movements. If one of them feels better than the other, take some time there and really press. Let's do one more of each. Good, after your last exhale, go ahead, return back into our tabletop position. 